Hello everyone, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Subnautica in our Survival School series. So I really, really, really need to build a power cell charger. That's going to happen. So let's go ahead and look at what we need in order to make one of those. Power cell charger, computer chip, wiring kit, glass, and titanium. Now, I believe that's going to require a good amount of silver, as we were discussing at the end of the last episode. So, let's have a look now at how much room we have to... Okay, we've got plenty, actually. That's good. We do need to go ahead and have Seaglide back in slot 5. And we are going to... Tell you what! Let's take this thing out for a spin. Welcome aboard, Captain. No reason not to. It'll keep us safe from the, uh... Stalkers. And it might make it a lot easier to find... One of these caves. Hey! I will gladly take that stalker tooth. Hi there! <laughs> I should not be this enthralled with what just happened. That's terrible. I literally just mauled that poor stalker. It's great to have this ability at last. Now, how deep can I go here? 900 meters in this suit. Now, the question is, how high can I go? I can go, I can go pretty high. So, I mean, I need to be careful where I'm free-falling, because there can be some deep pits in here. But at the same time... Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Forget the tutorial for a second. This is just going to be me flipping out about this freaking suit. Oh, this is so cool. All right. Uh, hang on. Uh, I'm looking for... Actually, given the terrain here, this is climbable. This is set up to where I could kind of hop my way along this terrain and not fall. However, now I can't see. Yeah, see, I can't see much farther there. Let's, what if I hop? Oh, okay. Wait, wait. Wait. I want to be right here. Yes, sir. Okay, let's... Let's look around in here for a second. Oh, this is so much fun. Now, is it possible? See, that's... I kind of want to just get out here for a second. Yeah, I will. It'll be easier. Silver? Oh, this is so much easier! Oh my god, I can't handle how cool this is. Uh, is that more rock? Yes, it is. More silver. Alright, well, we're finding our silver pretty quickly now, thanks to our good friend, the prawn suit. Let's see if this... Ah, it's just limestone. I didn't need gold, game. I need silver. Give me silver, please. Silver! There we go. I actually think that's all we needed. Just the three. Where's the prawn? I'm too close to the prawn to see the indicator. There it is. Sometimes when you're so close to one of your vehicles, as happened in this series, um, it, it just it gets a little disorienting, and you think you left it, like, very close by, and you did, but it just it can get tough to find. All right, so that's all the silver I need. Now I need to go get some glass, and I'm going to need to switch vehicles for that. Oh, but first, hang on. I'm actually seeing a few more... ...central resource spots. Yeah, see, that's a little bit more silver. It's never the worst thing to have a little bit of extra silver. As a matter of fact, I may as well... Let's get the flashlight out. I may as well spend a second down here, because I can, and collect a little bit more silver. Because we seem to have found an area that's... You know what? Screw it. I'm getting in the prawn suit and going down there. It's not that much deeper. We're going to look for silver this way. Gadoosh! Oh! 
This is so awesome. All right. So we're at 100 meters. We can go down to 900 with this thing. Oh, wow. Hi. All right, then. That's copper. I'll bet you this is sandstone. It's gold. Is this... That's limestone. That's more copper. I will never complain about more copper. That's... And nor should you. I mean, that's a really good way to get additional, um, just basic computing components. There's more silver there. This thing is so cool. I cannot handle how cool this suit is. All right, let's, let's climb. Yeah, this, this thing can jump. That is one heck of- oh wow! <laughs> hey look, here's the base! Okay, so, there you go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's take care of a few things here. Wow. Okay, wiring kit, definitely. Now, in order to make the computer chip, I'm gonna need the quartz and table coral sample. Um... But let's see what else I need for that. Need to take another look. Quartz and table coral, and then just a little bit more quartz. Was it two quartz that I need for the computer chip, or just the one? Remind me. Just one. So I need three quartz altogether. Right? Yep, three quartz altogether, and one more piece of titanium. Now, I think I'm already have, I might already have some titanium in here. No, I don't. Just kidding. I also need to build a second locker. Actually, come to think of it, hang on, I might have just realized a very, very simple... Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Come here. Oh, inventory's full. That's annoying. Let me just drop some of these batteries for a second. Oh, that's not enough. Of course it's not enough. I'll come right back for you guys. Alright, so we are going to turn those two creepvine seed clusters into silicone rubber. What was that? My computer tried to jump out of Subnautica for a second there. Okay. Oh, hey, I can make another power cell, too, because I have the two batteries in the silicon rubber. Uh, but actually, more importantly than that... Oh, I thought I needed silicone for a locker, but I don't. I just need... Some more glass. Okay, so I really just need to go out and get a bunch of quartz. Which is which is not an issue. I can do that. Are there any batteries in here that need to be charged? No, but I, I just need a new locker. Good lord, I've got so much to do. Okay. This is going to be tough because I'm, I'm just, I'm out of space. I have no more storage space for anything. So, what I'm going to have to do... is hop in my trusty Seamoth and head back to the original base. The original life pod. Because we need to drop off some stuff there and then hunt some quartz. Get what we need. Maybe some titanium too. We're going to have to make a couple of trips to do this. It's going to be kind of obnoxious. The other alternative is I could build... wait a minute. Well, I need to go this way. Oh, hi. Whoa, that was... I've never seen him swim that fast. That guy, like, attacked me. Okay, another option is... I could build the, um... Floating lockers. Haven't built one of those since the beginning of the game, and I'm not used to building them. That just takes three titanium for a waterproof locker. Hmm. So I could have a locker outside. And that just requires three. How much space do I have free? Uh, I could do it. Tell you what, that's what we're going to do. As a means of just storing stuff so we don't have to make multiple trips later. Wow, that guy that guy beamed the hell out of my Seamoth. Alright, let's go ahead and just drop one of these salt deposits. Don't need that. My Seamoth is damaged. 57% and 1% energy. So I'm going to need to... Let me surface real quick and get away from these guys, but we definitely need to take care of this poor thing. 
Let's uh, swap out the power cell first and foremost. And then secondly, let's get out our welder and fix this thing. There we go. That's better. All right, so change of plan rather than having to go back and forth. I am still going to return uh, back towards the uh, the area of the original uh, landing because that's where, you know, I'm likely to find a lot of quartz. There's a couple of different places I could look for quartz, really. Oh, cool. My prawn suit is keeping my base illuminated. That's kind of nice. I like that. I mean, I could install my own lights, too. That would work. Oh, I don't have power on account of the... I really need to fix that. We need to get a, a power system set up. Well, this is just all kinds of annoying, isn't it? Because I, I just don't have any room, and now I don't have any means to do it. So now we do have to go back to... <laughs> Sorry for the back and forth, but I don't have... Because it's been generally diff more difficult this series to set up a room, um, because, you know, we had to hunt down the, um, the multipurpose room technology before we could build one, um, I don't have a, a bioreactor yet. I don't have, I don't have power in my base uh, during the night, unfortunately. So it runs out. It's really kind of annoying. Running into that fish didn't damage my seamoth. So only certain fish damage the seamoth. Interesting. Leave me alone. <laughs> Don't you come kamikaze rolling into me, sir. I am not interested. All right. Let's hop out here and... Here we go. Titanium. Now I can build that locker. Actually, wait. I have to make it here, don't I? And I need room in my inventory for it. Oh, crap. I forgot about that, too. All right. Well, we're still going to go back. After all that to do about not needing any back and forth, here I am doing back and forth. But it should be just this one trip. Actually, oh, I don't have room. I need to get table coral from here, but I can't. Oh, and there's some quartz, too. Oh! Oh, this is driving me crazy. Oh, okay. The base just came back online, too. Oh, man. The title of this episode should just be Irony. An exercise in irony. And possibly futility. <laughs> Depending on how much we can accomplish this episode. Oh, man. Let's... All right, we're almost back. Thankfully, the Seamoth is moving in a pretty decent clip. As it always does. Alright, now I need to basically sit right here. And drop a bunch of things. That sounded like the creature from the grudge. That was disconcerting. I never want to hear that in Subnautica again. Okay. Yeah, this space is really struggling now. I'm guessing on account of the uh, the filtration machine. It's really struggling to stay online and to gain any decent amount of power. Yeah, see what's happening? This is... This is really... I need 10 power to make this locker. Are you going to let me do it? Inventory is full. Of course it is. All right. Got to come back out here and drop more stuff because these things are just unnecessarily massive. And it annoys the living crap out of me. It's cool they, they have it. They leave it sitting out there now. All right. So power just shut down temporarily. Yes, I know. You have no power. We've talked about this. Okay. 
Now this is a place for me to put stuff. I can put up this uncharged power cell for now. We're going to have to come back for it, but I can put up a bunch of this stuff. Let's go ahead and pick all this up. Okay. Inventory's full? Of course it is. Oh, it's just too full to pick up that one thing. Alright. Put this silver up. Uh, I don't... I'll keep those tools on me, just in case I need them. Now, I need titanium and glass. So we need to go and get a bunch of quartz. I've got room for lots of it now, so let's go take care of that now that we're finally ready. Quartz hunting time! Whoa, what... What just did that? I think I just hit myself with the Seamoth. I think I... I hit the gas and then got out and the Seamoth hit me in the butt. It hurt me. Okay. So that's a thing. Leave me alone. Alright, so we're gonna get some quartz, which is gonna help us with pretty much everything we need. We're also gonna get some table coral samples while we're over here. And then we should be good to go. Okay, I need to start looking for both quartz and table coral. There's some quartz. I'm going to turn the light off here. Don't need it. Where else? There's some more quartz. How much room do I have exactly? Just in case I need a little bit more titanium, I'll pick up one, 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 one piece of metal salvage. Just one. In case you're wondering, I'm going to pick up one. <laughs> okay, here's some more quartz. Quartz. And then I think I need to go ahead and build a second room so I can have a a bioreactor. Because this is just ridiculous. Mild dehydration detected. Fluid intake recommended. Well, there is water waiting for me back at the base, so chill out and I'll be fine. Just trust me, lady. Just trust me. Looking for anything resembling more quartz. Hey, there's quartz. There's one. Hey, stalker. Don't mind me. Excuse me. I'm totally ignoring that stalker because I'm faster than him. Alright, this should be more than enough, I think. I'm just, I'm kind of in overkill at this point. I'm just grabbing every last... Hey, volcano! There's some quartz down by the volcano, in fact. And some more silver. Oh, I should probably get air. <laughs> That's probably a thing that I should do. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Oh. New battery, and let's get some table. Coral, oh wait. There we go. Inventory full. Are you kidding me? What am I carrying? What can I drop? I guess I could drop the metal salvage. I don't really need it. No, I I literally just dropped that. There we go. Alright, and now... Seamoth. Where'd you go? You're over there. I went way, way far away from the Seamoth. Much farther than I needed to. Well, it's ironic. We were going to build a power cell charger this episode, but it ends up... I just... I have so much stuff that I need to expand my storage first and foremost. So, lesson learned, right? At least hopefully. Let's head back towards... 
base camp alpha. Keeping the lights off, saving energy. Emergency. Severe dehydration. Detected. Seek fluid intake immediately. I don't have a spot for. There's the computer chip. Now I can have a spot for that water. I don't know if I like the slower walking speed now. Honestly. I mean, I know I can sprint and change at any time. But it's just, it's really throwing me off right now. Just being honest. Okay. Now I just need glass and titanium times two. Hey, I can do that. There's my titanium times two. And there's my glass. Power cell charger. Okay, now where can we build it? We could put it right there under the battery charger. Actually, that'd be awesome to have it there. Let's do that. All right, now I believe I have an old power cell on me. Or did I... Oh, no, I put it up in the locker out here. I need to open this thing up, grab the old power cell. I'm also going to open this thing because I think I had a dead battery. Yep, right there. And a couple of dead power cells as well. That's that. Nice. Nice little multi-tiered charging station there. And now we also need to build a second locker. Yesterday. Something we honestly should have already done. It's always handy to have multiple storage options. All right, that looks pretty pretty flush next to the other one. There we go. And now I can put some other stuff up in here. Mainly, I can come out here, grab all the stuff in this temporary storage, and put it up in the other locker. Much better. Uh, I guess I'll keep this other stuff on me for now. I'll put the silicone up, I'll put the titanium and the salt and the lead, and I can keep this other stuff on me. Okay. I could go ahead and make glass with the rest of the quartz I have on me. Yeah, let's do that. We need to make some windows in here. I'd rather have a window looking out into the deep. Awesome. There we go. Huh. Is that curvature new? I feel like that's new. That's cool. Let me, let me go outside and see what that looks like from outside. Maybe it's the same as it's always been and I've just, I've just never noticed a curvature. Maybe I've just never noticed. Okay. Cool. So let's have a look now at what we need for the Cyclops. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I need the enameled glass. That's going to require me to... Hang on. Hang on. Get the stalker tooth out of here. 
That's going to be one enameled glass, but I need to I need to spend some time looking around for more stalker teeth. But it should be pretty easy now with the prawn suit to find stalker teeth. It used to be a bit more harrowing of an ordeal because you would have to go out and make sure that you were good to go um, as far as protecting yourself from the stalkers as you were trying to get their teeth. Now I just can punch them to death with the prawn suit and everything will be okay. So I will probably work on getting some of that together in the very next episode. I heard some water. Let's go ahead and use that. Also, I think I've got some medikits over here that I'm going to use. Oh, I don't. Did I use them all? Well, I might need to go ahead and make a new... Oh, that's so weird. The charge screens are overlapping here. I didn't notice that. That's fine. I can still see them. Medical kit fabricated requires uh, a computer chip, fiber mesh times two, and titanium times five in order to make a fabricator. But I can do that. But more importantly, what I need more than anything is to expand my base. We need to have another multi-purpose room. Let's take a look outside and see where it could possibly go. We could have it on top of this one. Which wouldn't be the worst thing. But yeah, we're going to need to expand our base in the next episode, so we'll focus on that. And then we're going to build the bioreactor for the first time, which is a little bit late, but at least that will keep the base running a little bit better than the... Um, than the solar power is keeping it running. And then we can spend more time looking for the nuclear reactor and having that running, because once that thing is going... Uh, <laughs> there's just so much more potential for um, amazing, amazing um, bases and having the base running at all times and having tons of buildings drawing power and tons of just pieces of technology like the water filtration machine. You never have to be concerned about it again. So at least when you have the nuclear reactor going. So anyway, that's how that works. We'll work on that in the next episode. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I upload new episodes in Survival School every day at 6 Eastern Daylight Time, which is GMT minus 4 for those of you not in the States. And comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next episode.